Hello guys, and in this, this video I'm going to talk about curves and different ways of using curves in uh, Substance Designer and then we can go into Houdini and we'll uh, recreate the curve node in there and we'll use it on 3D objects. So let's start here with an actual example. Uh, on for, for example here I could use the curve node and to make these kind of shapes on the buttons. Uh, I started with the uh, with a shape node and it's just a paraboloid uh, gradient from black uh, from yeah black to white and I just moved it into place and here we go that's that's the curve node so basically uh, the curve node would detect the uh, black to white values and uh, it it'll you can control the uh, intensity of uh, the black and white with these points right there. So I, I could uh, change those right here and uh, the the curves there will change the uh, like these extrusions. You could see it right there. Okay. And I could uh, Just a second. Okay. So white and this is black here. Black to white. And see that line? It's black to white. So whatever I change up there will change the white. Whatever I change down here will change the black. You can see that's the black right there. And that's the white here. And that goes for any gradient. Not necessarily just the circle or a paraboloid. We can see another example in here. Never mind that. Okay. That's a gradient. Black to white. Same thing. I'm gonna control it with a curve. But now I could do some more stuff to that curve and get a those kind of results from it. And I could go back and change uh, the curve in here while looking at that. One click, one click here, and I could change those. And I could get so many different results. Okay, so the way I did this, I used a gradient with a curve node. Another uh, gradient on top uh, with a, just a transform and rotated it multiplied with a blend so I get those uh, intersections of two curves and then histogram scan and position right there contrast so this little uh, detect the white and uh, delete the uh, gradients the depends on uh, the sh threshold right there and I just moved it to the side so I could mirror just one side of it and that's a safe transform you could do that that same thing with the tile generator or wherever I just wanted some tiles right there and hi right here all of these they're using the same setup, just uh, one curve, rotate it, blend it together, and tiled, and all uh, plugged into a switch. And I could change the the slider there and could see all the different results I got, and it's endless. These are just a couple of them. Uh, then you could just plug in a shape mapper and uh, <laughs> get all those different shapes in a circle. Yeah. One more use in designer I could go over uh, with a height extrude. So get this uh, gradient right there, shape, control with the curve, and you can get those uh, indents right there. And you kind of you can see the shape of it right there.
this might be useful in some cases. Okay, that's enough for uh, designer. Let's go into Houdini and we'll uh, recreate the uh, curve node in there. Okay, so first off, I'll, I'll show you some uh, results I got. All from the uh, same curve node. <laughs> I was just messing with it, that's why it's kind of broken. Uh, yeah, maybe get that up there. Um, see, whatever you see fit. And that's the code right there. Uh, I added some extra uh, controls in the here, but you don't need all that. All you need is just two lines of code. I'll just recreate it here. We'll go over it. Uh, just put down a grid. I need some more subdivisions. Okay. And wrangle. So here is where all the magic happens. It's uh, kind of scary to get into at first. Uh, I had I didn't have any coding experience, but uh, I was able to manage in a month after uh, learning uh, from uh, uh, Joy of Vex. I, I could share the link down below. Okay. Uh, so uh, I, all we need now is a gradient on here, same uh, that we have with this, black to white. We need a gradient and then uh, we can uh, control the height of the point through that gradient. Okay. So let's put down a gradient. We can use a uh, relative uh, point box, this one, and um, it, it takes uh, the uh, input first, zero. So these are like four inputs right here, zero, one, two, and three. So we're using point uh, input zero, zero. And it takes the position, which is at P. And we'll plug that into, uh, let's put in the color so we can visualize it. It's a vector, by the way, this point box. So and the color is a vector, RGB. So let's uh, initialize this. Yeah. So now let's uh, control one side of it, just the X, just the gradient on the X, and we'll put it into the Y uh, axis of the points for each point. So this triangle right here, it's running run over points. It's running for each point in here, controlling each one of them one by one. So we'll uh, control the position, just the Y, at P, but the Y, just the Y of each point. And uh, let's add whatever value to the existing value of each Y of it. Okay. And right now we'll, we'll write the uh, curve thing uh, we had in uh, uh, Substance Designer, like uh, those points right here. In, Houd in Houdini, it's called ramp. So we can add that. Uh, ch ramp. And uh, it takes a couple of. Uh, inputs in there, so height, uh, you could change this to whatever, you could put it H or whatever, this is just a string, it's a name, uh, and then uh, let's plug in the value here and there so we can control it. Uh, for example, well, uh, but we just we, we just need the x axis of it. So at c d dot x, we just need the x. So I, I don't want to control everywhere. I just want to control right here. Okay, and can initialize this. Uh, I press Control Enter. And uh, if you want to control the ramp, you need to uh, press this button right there, right there, and 
the, uh, cur the points with the curve will appear down here and you can control them. So now we can see it's going from 0 to 1, 0 to 1. And I could go in here and control it the way I like. And the reason I'm able to control this is we have a lot of points on here. So if, co if I go back and lower the point count, it's going to have trouble uh, adjusting. So that's why I added lots of uh, divisions in here. You don't need these right there. Okay. And we don't actually need the color. I just put it in here just so you could see there's a gradient on there. We could uh, put it put something else like uh, since color is a vector in here we'll we'll just put a vector and put whatever uh, name kebab I love kebab uh, okay uh, and here we change that with kebab but we just need the X of it so control enter and then there is no color but there is a value and this value is plugged in here and is being controlled by the ramp which is this and plugged into the Y axis of each point and that's how we can uh, control uh, this uh, madness right there <laughs> and you can make a lot of things out of here uh, they, those kind of shapes and you could go back and change them and they'll adjust and you'll uh, get those different shapes if you want I could go through this it's, it's a simple setup so first off I did made this line control it with the curve that's a reverse uh, poly extrude get an extrusion there moved it transform bend get the shape fuse so that I'll fu uh, merge these nodes in uh, these points in between uh, poly reduce lower the poly count normal fix the normal and the sop align tool uh, this uh, this is a uh, this node is one in the uh, game development tool set you can uh, you can get it here game development you need to press on this and update it if you don't have it but you need to close down Houdini and reopen it again these are really useful those nodes yeah that that's all for today uh, we went over a couple of uh, uses for the curve node and uh, I'll see what I can up can I uh, come up with uh, in the future and if I find something else that is that I think is useful I'll uh, share it with you guys thank you for watching and I'll see you next time